The Hero Scorecard is a free online assessment that is available for employers to help them understand what are the evidence-based practices that will help them to have an effective program, whether that's um, getting higher participation rates, health impact, healthcare costs, productivity impact, um, all of the practices have been associated with an evidence base. And so if employers are looking for a list of the, the things that they can be doing to make sure that their programmatic efforts are, are, are going to result in the outcomes they want, they can complete the scorecard to um, educate themselves on what those practices are. But then they can also, as they complete it, they will get a score back and they will um, also get a national benchmark so that they can see how they are compared to other employers that have completed the scorecard. So it's a really nice way to understand where you are um, in terms of adhering to an evidence-based approach, as well as how am I doing compared to my peers. When it comes to completing the scorecard, one of the ways that we recommend employers go about it is that they don't attempt to complete it with just one person assessing their organization, that they bring together others in their organization who specialize in working with disability management who specialize in the employee assistance area. Um, there are a lot of different practices that we ask about on the scorecard, um, areas of policy, areas of um, integration, use of data, and we wouldn't expect that one person in an organization would be familiar with all of the different ways that they're implementing those practices. And so our recommendation is that employers see this as an opportunity to bring others together to complete the scorecard so that they can agree this is the right response, this is the accurate response for our organization. And one of the values that employers really get from that is the opportunity to bring together people around the same table that maybe haven't been involved with the health and well-being initiative. And we've heard that from other employers who've completed the scorecard in that way that, well, this really helped to promote collaboration um, across functions within our organization that previously had not sat down together. And I remember one organization that had completed it, they had quite a large committee. It was um, a very cross-functional group. And it was interesting because they didn't agree on the answers, they each completed it independently and then they came together and it was interesting that they had this dialogue about, well, have we really implemented it fully or have we just sort of partially implemented it? And what we recommend is that employers, as they go about this, that they, um, if they're only partially completing it, that they don't give themselves credit for that, but they leave some room for growth and to stretch themselves. And so if they're only doing it well, yeah, at headquarters we are, but everywhere else we're not at our other 50 locations, that they would give themselves the opportunity to grow in that area. And when they have more fully implemented it across all locations, that they would go ahead and, and check the box on that practice then. So it's kind of interesting how some people in the organization may not agree on are we really implementing this practice or not. And um, I think that, that that's another point of value is it gives people new perspectives about how to view some of these practices.